see you in a few months. For the war has just begun. What's good? This is a long time that I've been doing this. It's been a long time since I've done this. But today we are having a critical review over Deontay Wilder. So, just recently, matter of fact yesterday, Deontay Wilder came out with a video on Instagram talking about how he will rise again. He will have his revenge. He will have his rematch with uh, Tyson Fury and he will gain his his crown uh, you know king over the boxing division and will retain uh, or regain his title hello my people my bomb squad army my bomb squad nation to all my loved ones around the world I just want to let you know that I am here your king is here, and we ain't going nowhere, for the war has just begun. I will rise again. I am strong. I am a king that can't take my pride. I am a warrior. I'm a king that will never give up. I'm a king that will fight to the death. And if anyone don't understand that, don't understand what it is to go to war, don't understand what it is to fight, we will rise again. We will regain the title. I will be back. We will hold our heads up high. Your king is in great spirit. And we will rise like a phoenix from the ashes and regain the title. Now, with this in mind, <clears throat> something that we have to keep in mind is the backlash in all of the comments that black people are making concerning Deontay Wilder. Now, what you're seeing is that you see a lot of black people um giving backlash to Deontay Wilder. Whether you want to agree with his boxing style and whether or not you think he can box is not up for debate and we are not having that discussion in this particular video. However, we will have the discussion on how we should treat one another when it comes to these particular situations. Kind of brings me back back in high school. Brings me back back. In. It brings me back to particular things that used to happen back in high, high school where, you know, if a man had beef with another man, you know, and they fought it out and stuff like that, you know, after the particular person who may have been talking the most mess, they get beat down, and all of a sudden, the next day, everybody talk, oh man, you got your ass, you got, you got, you got, you know, and all that smack people be talking about, you know, what happened and what went down, despite, you know, whether... It was a cheap shot and whether or not, you know, something happened, he got jumped. You know, regardless, they're going to say that he got his tail beat. You know, he did not win that fight. So, in this same predicament, you have Deontay Wilder who lost um, his title and lost to Tyson Fury, you know, in this particular boxing match. So, now you have a lot of black people who are saying that he can't box you know he he don't know how to work his feet he doesn't have good footwork you know all this other type of stuff and then you have the other black people who are saying he got cheated out and again like I said we, we're not going to discuss that in this video um, but I think it needs to be discussed on how we should uh, compose ourselves when it comes to our own people when they lose a fight especially in Black History Month and it's against Tyson Fury. Um, in my personal opinion the person that uh, Deontay Wilder went up against before Tyson Fury and I can't think of his name right now I, I think that person personally had more boxing skills and was more of a threat than Tyson Fury.
that's just me personally. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, but that man knew how to box. That man was dangerous in the ring. You know, and so with Tyson Fury, I feel like with Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, me personally, he can box. Um, or he has shown that he has a more of experience in boxing in terms of his hands than uh, Deontay Wilder. This is not to say that Deontay Wilder can't box. This is not to say that Deontay Wilder has a poor form of, of boxing skills and his footwork and this and the third. I do feel like, however, when the boxing match went down, I felt like his people in the corner was not giving him any form of good advice on how to go about the situation in rounds to rounds to come. You know, when the the camera would point to Deont uh, Deontay Wilder, you didn't hear much talk. You didn't hear much of what was going on and advice on what he needs to be doing. But when you went to Tyson Fury on his side, his people were giving him the okay and what you shouldn't be doing, what you should be doing. Remaining calm, understanding that it is a marathon and not a sprint. He has been known to give away rounds early to get his timing down to land that right hand. Now we'll listen in to Javon Sugar Hill. In the corner of Tyson Fury. You know, keep him in the corner. You know, I heard one of the people saying, so, you know, that, that kind of plays a part in hand, too. So, you know, and, and then there's another aspect where people who, who understand entertainment, you know, they'll say this was rigged. You know, he gave up his title and he gave up this because this was a form of a ritual that was going on in this particular entertainment, which is why you saw Tyson Fury lick the blood off of Deontay Wilder's neck, you know, that is some caucasity, you know, he had the caucasity to do something like that. Another aspect, and I hate to go into this particular critical review, is that you have a lot of these particular Hebrew Israelites um, who are saying that Deontay Wilder lost because he is giving his worship and his power and his adoration to the gods of Egypt. <laughs> Basically, you know, Deontay Wilder is, you know, uh, proud to be African. He is proud of his African roots and he has no problem identifying with his ancestors. Don't believe in the same things. And, we're from a different and this world. is where I don't like a you anymore. Culture. I came here today thinking me and you were similar. But sitting around this table, I know that me and you are so worlds apart. Most definitely. Worlds apart. Light years. I look to nothing to come Light inside years. me and win fights. Only the power of God above. That's it. And I get the power from that. I don't get the power from anything else. I don't need a second person to come and help me. I've already beaten people like you many, many times. I bump into people like you every single day of my life. It's and I give them the me. same answer. There's only one brother. It, does, it doesn't matter. matter. Do you know There's what I say to you? Ask and you shall mama. receive. Ask you and your alter ego are a pack of bums. Don't you feel the ancestry, the energy? I don't high. feel nothing. The ancestry, what is it? What you will. Where are you from? Where are you from? What you will. Where are you from? However, you have these Hebrew Israelites who refuse to identify with their African ancestors and will say that they are the true Israelites and, and Jews of the Bible, but they don't have any association with the landmass of Africa nor the people that dwell within it concerning the quote unquote Hamites. So there was one particular comment made by I don't know if he's a celebrity, but I know he's well known. Um, but this man, uh, according his name is Brandon Jackson, basically made a comment that he needs to stop dwelling in African spiritualism, and he needs to get back in in communication with the Most High, or, or the God of Israel, or the of the Bible. You know, so you have this particular review, uh, you know, reciprocated towards uh, Deontay Wilder by these religious cults and groups and camps, uh, the Hebrew Israelites. So they're saying that because he wasn't abiding by 
the the law statutes and commandments and he was you know into African spirituality and he claimed to be an African you know or he, he claimed his African roots that this is because this is why he lost you know and I don't subscribe to that but I'm just giving you different perspectives and reviews over what has been said recently concerning Deontay Wilder. Us as black people we have to stop degrading and beating each other down when certain things happen like this whether you subscribe to it was rigged whether you feel like you know he's in cahoots with the government and people in high places you know pictures that you've seen him shaking hands with the Pope you know him having you know all this all the talk you know whether you believe it or not whether there's some truth to it or not you know there are certain things that we should go about certain situations that concern us as black people especially if you have these particular celebrities who proclaim to be about their people and proclaim to be of uh, African descent and love their African ancestry. A bit of a critical review when it comes to Deontay Wilder. Um, he is a great boxer. He has a great record. If you look throughout his, um, you know, his career, you know, he had, uh, he has had a lot of great mass uh, matches with a lot of great people, and. Deontay Wilder is a great boxer despite whatever somebody wants to say despite the hype that he can't box you know quote unquote he can't box he can't do this that and the third the man can box the man has he has a 42 you know 42 and 1 now you know he the man can box if you can't if you can say he can't box get in the ring with him you know like if the if the man cannot box get in the ring with him you know, that's what I have to say about it. I can't say the man can't box, you know, especially if I've never been in the ring before. If I never boxed against professionals before, I can't say that somebody can't box, you know. But of course, you can tell when somebody, at the same time, you can tell when somebody has been experienced in boxing and stuff like that. But then again, this hype that he can't box, and, and looking at his record and his career, you cannot say that this man can't box. You just cannot say that. that that's disingenuous you know you're being dishonest this is nothing to take away from Deontay Wilder and his career like I said before he is a great boxer he has a great career and you know I stand with a particular black man who is for his people and is for the is proud of his African ancestry now I know there's a lot of conversion or controversial things that he has done concerning him shaking hands with the Pope you know, or, or he might be wearing certain fashion designs and stuff like that. Uh, but nonetheless, these particular things, uh, we should go about it in a particular way in which we can inform him and rebuild with him, you know, rather than to tear him down. Um, but then again, this is just a particular critical review in just one particular perspective. So, don't attack me for feeling a type of way about this situation in terms of looking at it from a logical perspective. Israel can't fight without their God. And Dante Wilder didn't have a God. God was not with him last night. So the only way he gonna win next time, I'm gonna tell you this right now, if he come into the covenant, because that was a spiritual thing, I don't care nobody say. That was a straight spiritual war. The dude was licking his blood. Did y'all see that? He was licking his blood, y'all. <laughs> Dante, he said, yo, yo people too. He said 400 years, I'm fighting for 400 years of slavery. The first fight, he knocked him down. He got back up. These are demons we dealing with, man. And people, it's, 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 hey, look. Point blank period, man. Do what God, do what the most high say. And I, and you know, it's funny, our people are so arrogant sometimes, like, you on that religious stuff. Well, you know what? The white boy was on some religious stuff too and he whooped at his ass. He said, I like to thank my Lord, Savior Jesus, whatever. That was actually a British accent, whatever it was. He, he got his tail beat and he thanked his God for it. So I'm just like, whatever, man. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you also follow my social media. You know, here's my email, like, share, and follow. For more deep in-depth content, please become a Patreon today. 
For only $2.50 a month, you can become an official supporter of Rome Productions and you can get some very well in-depth content also provided with PDF books and documentaries and so on and so forth. Last but not least, we finally have some new merchandise out. So that means we got some new shirts, hoodies, and all type of stuff that you can now shop today at Rome Central. Just go in the link below and shop today.